we are going to just record a quick little video looking at the Resident Evil 9 alleged leak that was sent to me on Discord. Really uh, weird. He sent it. There was a guy that just stopped by my Discord at 4 a.m., gave me this picture, and I asked him. I was like, hey, because I was still awake. I'm like, hey, where'd you get this? Like, what's the story? He just dipped, honestly. I had no idea until, like, I woke up. <laughs> early uh, like in the afternoon somebody in my discord actually said oh no he just left he just dropped that and he just left so his name was ibs in the in the discord like that's his discord name we're gonna see i have virus here with me virus the virus and basically gonna look at this and, and kind of give our thoughts so let's see. okay i'm actually gonna put myself i'm gonna first show the picture and then i'll put myself in the corner guys but this is the supposed Resident Evil 9 leak. So I don't know if you want to start, Virus, and let me know what you what you think about this picture. And then I'll give my yeah, thoughts. Yeah, uh, well. you briefly showed me it before you hopped on live. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. to me, I, I said it looks like one really bad concept art or VR game or just like an indie game that uses a bunch of assets. I don't know how legit this is. Uh, I don't know. To me, this definitely just looks like something they picked up or made. I don't know where they found this, where the sources may have to reverse uh, image search it, but I don't think this looks uh, looks legit to me. I feel like I'm looking at a Call of Duty Zombies screenshot of something. Yeah, that that's exactly what I was going to say. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. Look at the gun. When I saw the gun, I was like, hey, that's a Call of Duty gun <laughs> with, the, with the holographic. Yeah, with the attachment, the 2X and the and attachment it, as well. Exactly, yeah. and it turns into that, and it's like, bro, what? So at first I was like, oh, this looks interesting. But then after I look at the background, if you guys can see in the back of this uh, of this thing, it looks like it's just an empty room. So at first I was like, okay, well, let's search Nexus mods. I was like, okay, maybe it's like, you know, um, they, they put it that, you know, they maybe maybe they got a mod for RE8. And then because obviously those assets are from Resident Evil 8. But I was thinking, you know, mm -hmm. what what if uh, what if they just, you know, what, <laughs> what if they just uh, got a mod where they added like Call of Duty guns? Mm -hmm. Um, I couldn't find that to my knowledge. I tried looking for a holographic site. I just did a quick search because, like I said, this was like at 4 a.m. And I was like, okay, well, I can't find that. But then the next thing I was thinking about was like, yeah, this is definitely Call of Duty. So I'm like, how would I replicate this? So the first thing that I was I was thinking was, okay, for starters, I would just play Call of Duty in like a dark area <laughs> and then just take that picture and then just cut like the the guy holding the gun and it does look like call of duty i'm, I'm uh that's why it's, it's it's funny that you brought that up because yeah that's 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 so call of duty so it's a good it's good that i showed you this just to get a second you know opinion on this because i was like that's call of duty and so that's what i mean right so they first took a picture and then they cut that that call of duty you know you know like ads out you know um aiming down sights picture and then after they just got some sort of mod they just put a bunch of these assets in a room in a dark room because you can't see anything you can't see anything now what the person was basically saying um let me actually bring up the message actually right now where this this very this person brought this thing he said i have a leaked re9 gameplay still image seems to come from an unreleased cinematic trailer teaser for resident evil 9 with a few segments of gameplay yeah so that's sus for, <laughs> that's definitely says because for starters it looks like they're just in a room and it makes absolutely no sense like i, I would i would have bought this a lot more if there was like like if they were like in uh in like you know like in a facility like in in um the bsaa headquarters you know if they actually put us in a hallway at least then maybe i would have bought it you know a hallway that was very dark that would have convinced me a lot more but not this i mean like if you look in the back <laughs> you look in the back you could just see that uh Wait, let me actually zoom in. You can just see, like, that's just like, uh, like, it's just like an empty room with just like little water <laughs> on the thing. Like, it just, I don't know. Yeah, it's, just a, it's just a four by four box. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so, do I think this is real? No, I don't think this is real at all. Um, I think it's, I think it was kind of rude too that the guy just came in, dropped it, and then left, tried to be mysterious. And I'm like, dude, what is this? Like, <laughs> why are you dropping this? <laughs> I wanted to get, like, you know, the story behind it. But uh, yeah, and it like you also stated before we started the stream because I just showed Virus this. Virus was saying how it like it just they like it's just the same asset just on you know duplicated. And I guess one could argue that you know in the end of Resident Evil Village 
we do know that there's a bunch of these guys and that they all look the same, but I actually don't know if they all look the exact same. Is there actually? Because I, I think a lot of them were like they had their helmets on and there was just one that didn't have his helmet. Now, I think there was a theory. I, I, I Correct me if I'm wrong. Going around, I think I think it came from Residents of Evil actually. That they said that it was like a clones or whatever and something like that. Like I I, I don't know, but to my knowledge, I, I don't think we saw. I mean, correct me, like guys, let me know if you guys are in the are in the chat. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys remember in Resident Evil Village that they had uh the, like their helmets? Like did, wasn't like most of them like weren't they covered up? Like I don't know if you remember anything, Virus. I can't say I recall much to be honest. I haven't played the game in a, in a little bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the BSA agents, for what I remember, just all kind of look the same. I think they were just using those same assets because they were a very minute part of the ending. So, I guess when I guess when the full game comes out eventually, we'll, they'll probably have some different variation. But for right now, I can understand why they would all look similar. But again, I I still don't believe this is legitimate. Oh yeah, I mean, no, this might bite bite <laughs> us in the ass. When yeah, the no. Comes out, but. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I doubt it too. And also, it seems no, like agree, agree. another thing that also makes this, you know, not true, is the fact that, <laughs> is the fact that why is it in first person? You know what I mean? Like why? Like that doesn't make sense. Also, there's no crosshair there either. Like it, it seems after Shadow of Rose, especially after RE4 remake, which is the last Resident Evil game that we got, um, it seems Capcom really wants to go back to third person. And the only time that the only reason they went to first person was because, you know, the director for RE7 kind of wanted the player to feel like Ethan as he was playing. And so they kind of just stuck mm -hmm. with that in RE8. But then they kind of they kind of backpedaled, especially with like the 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 village third person mod <laughs> or not mod, but the like the addition, the DLC that it came out with Shadow Bros. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I felt like a mod. <laughs> Yeah. It did feel like a mod, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. Demon says, yeah. Why did they all look the same? Yeah, because they're trying to make it seem as if all of them are the same, like as if they're clones. But yeah, it's it. This is this this just looks like it's Call of Duty, and then somebody just stuck a bunch of the same, you know, RE8 assets in a room. So do I think this is real? No, <laughs> don't believe this. No, definitely not. Yeah, don't believe these leaks. It's funny we both saw the Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, also... <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to see the resemblance, especially when you get the gun right off the bat. Like I see that, I'm like, okay, this just looks like a Call of Duty flipped asset. Also, also correct me if I'm wrong. We've never had like a, a like a holographic site where you can actually use, and that seems like that since it looks like it's straight from Call of Duty. Like obviously there you could use ADS, right? Aiming down the sights and you can look zoom in that little square. But in Resident Evil, we've never had that to my knowledge, right? Like we've had like guns that have like a little holographic sight on it. But when you're aiming, you always see the little, you know, the little um, reticle. Yeah, the camera just zooms in. You're not yeah, a, yeah. Like, physically aiming the gun in yourself. Yeah. yeah, unless it's like, well, RE4 added like the whole sniper thing, right? Like the sniper where you could actually go in first person, which was cool, but uh, but that's, uh, yeah, that's I, I, that's I, a little <laughs> that's a little different though. If it's like yeah. an optic scope that's like four times a normal looking glass, then yeah. yeah, that I can understand. Yeah, but something like this, I I wouldn't see it because they they remember in Villa, I don't know if, how much you played of it, but when you have the extra content shop at the end, you do get the option to have Chris's gun that you play in that segment when he's in the village, yeah. and. It has a sight on it, but you're never physically looking through it yourself. And thank you. Thank you so much. I love Crossplay for pointing that out. Yes, you can. When you're using that shotgun of his, um, you can actually... He kind of does this where it's it's almost... It looks like his hand's going like that and you can kind of zoom in. Thank you for that because that, that was a question I was going to bring up. But yes, so that's the... that To my knowledge, guys, is that the only time where you could do ADS? But regardless... I, it doesn't it's not a strong enough argument for this for this re9 like i'm trying to you know steel man this but it's still not <laughs> it's still not good because as mentioned it does seem I, I've, as the other argument that i that i brought up was resident evil it seems capcom doesn't want to do first person anymore if they were to do first person why did they give us third person with shadow of rose you know what i mean like like that's they, they could have easily just given us a first person and then given us cutscenes with with rose but uh yeah i don't think it's that's strong enough evidence but thank you thank you so much i love crossplay for catching that really appreciate it but yeah it's really fake uh, yeah to piggyback <laughs> off the rose thing i think the reason for that is because of the power she uses i feel like that'd be a little jank in first person if they were to try and uh Go, yeah, I get, go that route i guess but i mean that's that's a good point but i mean also wasn't it like in re8 they also had like um didn't they also add like like mercenaries for for heisenberg and uh lady D, lady yeah D? after the fact yeah wasn't heisenberg in first person also 
I think I'm just, they're all in first person. Yeah, I, I actually, I don't know. I only played it like once, I think. I don't No, I don't even think I got to it, actually. I think I was like, oh, this is really fun. I played Chris, and then that's it. That was also first person. Yeah, well, I mean, RE, yeah, yeah was clearly first person, but... Um, but I mean, they could have. They could have just done. I mean, her powers didn't really need. Uh, uh, <laughs> her powers didn't really need third person to be honest. Because in her powers, her flower powers, you just have to hold your hand out and just point. Like they could have just. They could have just. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, there was. Like, there, w- correct me if I'm wrong, but was there any need for for her to to like w- like it could have easily been done in first person as well, right? To be honest, I don't think there was any need for that DLC. It was kind of a flop, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I 100% agree. Yeah. I hated that I DLC. I could have been completely fine without the DLC. It was so, it was like Stranger Things, where she goes so into mid. like, into like a, like a consciousness, and she goes into like a, the other brain, and she goes into like this whole world. And and that's what the the merchant was talking about the the duke specifically. He's like, yeah, yeah, but if you go through this, you you won't be able to come back to this world. That's what he said in RE8. And I was always like, what? And then you know, Shadow Rose comes out and enters. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. Anyways, we're not gonna we're not gonna open that can of worms because Shadow Rose. Yeah, we've done that before already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not do that. But uh, but thanks. Yeah. I guess I guess that's it. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Don't 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 freaking believe this leak. <laughs> that's all I'll say. <laughs> Guys, don't believe anything until Capcom says it themselves. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time, it's just clickbait and fodder just to get yep. you hyped for something that's not even announced yet. <laughs>